So it's fair to say we know a lot about the 2021 iPad Pros. I've made numerous videos on the topic covering all kinds of leaks and yeah, it's fair to say we have quite a lot of information regarding these weeks before launch. But just when we thought the leaks ended there, we were wrong because guys, we have renders of how these 2021 iPad Pros will look and spoiler alert, it looks identical to the current model. So yeah, not the most exciting news. But of course I got my imaginary magnifying glass out and I started analyzing these renders and there are actually quite a few fine minute changes with the 2021 model. For example, we have thinner bezels, we have polished sides, we have smart connectors on the top and bottom apparently, a lot of weird changes to name a few. And so without further ado, let's just delve into this. Make sure to like and subscribe, click that bell notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So all of this information comes from a source called Pig2. I believe that's how you say it, but anyways, Pig2 has given us renders in the past. I believe they gave us some of the first iPhone 12 renders. And so, yes, I guess we can take these renders with some sort of credibility. But beware, renders don't always look exactly like the final product in my opinion. There's always slight tweaks and changes to the final design and so that very much could be the case this time around too. But anyways, delving right in, let's talk about the dimensions of the next iPad Pro. So weirdly enough, this has been something that we've got some conflicting information on in the past. So of course, originally, everybody thought, hey, these iPad Pros are gonna be exactly the same size and depth and height and width and everything to the current models we have right now. But out of nowhere comes Digitimes to confuse us all and tells us that apparently because of the mini LED panel in the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, it should be slightly thicker. And to add a layer of confusion, we had 91 Mobiles claim the 11 inch iPad Pro was shrinking in size. And so that was really bizarre to me because if they shrunk the size of the iPad, then how exactly will it work with existing iPad Pro cases like the Magic Keyboard? Well, thankfully, Pigto, and I'm very sure I'm butchering the pronunciation, but anyways, they tell us that, hey, not to worry, the dimensions should be pretty identical. So unlike the initial report, no, the iPad Pro will not be substantially thicker to accommodate a mini LED panel. I think Apple should be able to achieve a mini LED panel while keeping the thickness relatively similar. And I say relatively similar because Pig2 does actually tell us that there is a chance Apple could make the iPad Pro ever so slightly thinner to have a slightly smaller camera bump on the back. But they do confirm that of course, the slightly thicker body will not affect the compatibility with the Magic Keyboard. So if you did spend $350 on a bloody keyboard, then yes, you can continue to use that keyboard with the new model. So yes, hopefully that is the end to this dimension saga. I do not want to hear another report on the dimensions of this bloody iPad. So yeah, there's that. And I think this pretty much confirms that Apple's not making these new iPads any stronger. So they will bend just as easily as the current model, which I guess is a con for some. Anyways, let's now move on to the next change with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro with mini LED. And this is something I predicted in the past, but yes, we are getting slightly thinner bezels with this model. Now, I'll be honest, Pic2 does mention this won't make much of a difference. And in fact, if Apple were to make the bezels slightly thinner by increasing the screen, then definitely they would have mentioned it in the marketing. And the fact we haven't heard about any new sizes leads me to believe that this will be a pretty small change. But either way, I will take any shrinking of the bezels because the iPad has some pretty chunk bezels that need a slight removal. And so I'm happy that Apple is working towards making them slightly thinner. Now, yes, I know that many of you have told me in the comments that the iPad Pro has thick bezels for a reason. You need somewhere to rest your fingers on an iPad. And so that's why the iPad Pro has slightly thicker bezels and 
something like the iPhone. But personally, as a counter argument to that, I think the iPad Pro has pretty good palm rejection software, and so I don't think thinner bezels will be an issue. And also, the 10.5 inch iPad Pro till this day has the thinnest side bezels, and so I think Apple can work towards at least meeting that in the near future. And of course, as I've said many, many times, the iPad Air and the iPad Pro need some sort of differentiation. And so giving the Pro lineup slightly thinner bezels, I think that would be the better move. Anyways, enough of the bezels. Let's now move our attention to the camera bump. So of course I have covered this many, many times on the channel with other videos about the iPad Pro, but essentially Apple is allegedly working towards making the camera bump slightly less prominent. And so right now, much like the iPhones, the lens sticks out of the actual camera bump and obviously that isn't too great. And so Apple is eliminating that with the next iPad Pro. And we see just that with these renders and honestly, that's a great thing to see because I feel this is kind of stupid. Think about it. Your lens is sticking out of the actual bump. And so there is no protection. Whereas, of course, with the new design, you have a lens cover on top of the actual camera sensors. And so, yes, it should be better for durability. But also, of course, you have less of a bump. And that is always a great thing. Right. The next two things I've noticed with these renders is something I'm not too sure about. And so I'm going to collate them together and put them in the onshore category. So first of all, let's talk about colors. Now, of course, these renders showcase the 2021 iPad Pro in a Pacific blue. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And so I think there is a possibility we could see Apple give us more color options on the next iPad Pro. So of course, a long, long time ago, Apple never really gave us funky colors on the iPad. But then of course, we had the iPad Air last year with its assortment of great, brilliant, bright colors. And so I think there is a possibility we could see Apple transfer their pro colors over to, of course, the iPad Pro. But of course, for the last few years, Apple has consistently kept the iPad Pro in the most serious and boring colors possible, space gray and silver. And so it is very possible. In fact, it is more likely that Apple does the same with the 2021 models. But anyways, with that being said, let's now delve into the next thing I noticed with the design, and that is the polished sides. So as far as we know, the iPad Pro still has aluminum. And so this render suggests that maybe the iPad Pro could move to stainless steel, much like, of course, the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, of course, I know that Apple could maybe chamfer the edges with aluminum and, of course, create this effect. But since we've heard nothing about this up until now, I do think this is not so likely. Also in the past with renders, we have had shiny edges for some reason that just never make it into production. For example, with the iPhone SE 2020, the renders showcased a polished frame, but of course we now know that was not the case. And so I think it is a similar situation with the 2021 iPad Pro renders. Okay, this has to be by far the most weird, odd, just I don't understand kind of change, but basically Pig2 tells us that apparently Apple is gonna give us magnetic connectors at the bottom and top edges next to the speaker holes. Now this is really, really weird. I have no idea. In fact, looking at the picture, it looks very similar to a smart connector, except of course it's on the edge of the iPad Pro and I have no clue what kind of accessory will take advantage of a smart connector being there. So yes. I am very, very confused. I don't understand why Apple would do this. And so, yeah, I really have nothing to say about that. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas as to how Apple could take advantage of a smart connector in that position. Now, Pig2 says it is possible that Apple's working on some sort of iPad accessory to hold the iPad upright. And so this is where the magnetic connector on the side comes to play. But honestly, think about it. When have you ever needed the iPad in a portrait orientation upright? That just seems really odd to me. And so 
I'm not too sure how one will use this accessory for the iPad Pro. The only thing I can think of is maybe Apple's working on some sort of charging stand for the iPad Pro. And of course the mention of magnets instantly makes me think of MagSafe and so maybe Apple will introduce MagSafe on the iPad and maybe the smart connector on the side and the stand will help the iPad magically charge using magnets. And yeah, Apple can sell another MagSafe accessory to you guys. I think that does seem pretty plausible. And of course, in case you missed it, I did make a video on the MacBook Pro and how it's allegedly bringing back MagSafe in 2021. Now, of course, if you want to check out the video, I'll leave it in the iCard above. But anyways, coming back to my point, I think Apple giving us MagSafe on the Mac and Apple giving us MagSafe on the iPhone, it just feels right to also give it on the iPad and make the MagSafe ecosystem across various devices. I can see Apple pushing that. And so, yes, maybe that's why the smart connector is being brought to the sides of the iPad. Or, of course, Pig2 could just be making things up. And that is also very, very possible. Now, finally, to add to the confusion, Pig2 also mentions that the iPad Pro 12.9 inch will have OLED instead of mini LED. Now, of course, we have heard rumors in the past that Apple is working on an OLED iPad for 2022. And of course, we also know that mini LED is still inferior to OLED. And so maybe there is a chance that Apple just skips on mini LED and jumps to OLED. But of course, at the same time, since we've been hearing about a mini LED iPad since, of course, early 2020, it seems unlikely that Apple's just going to skip to OLED. That's definitely happening in the future, but for the time being, this 2021 refresh is definitely mini LED. And that concludes this report on the iPad Pro, but tell me in the comments below, what color would you like to see in a future iPad model? Personally, of course, I would love to see Product Red debut on the iPad. I think that would be absolutely amazing, but tell me what you guys want in the comments below. And on that note, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out a video here in the iCard above about future Mac Pro models and a future Thunderbolt display launching very, very soon. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.